I don't care what the lap times are going to be, but those nah. laps are going to be hilarious to watch. Uh, One, because of my dumbass driving, and then two, nah, the way you were throwing this bitch around. You're fine. Yeah, I just, to me, it was like, let's just have a good time. Yeah. You know, it's, it's the last, yep. it's the last, last ride. ride. Yep. Let's just have a good time, man. And well, I've been watching your laps, and that helped a lot. One, you look because it shows me, I, mean, I, I know what to do. Right. Not having ever really done it though, but I know what to do. Right. So I have an idea of what I'm supposed to do. It's actually doing it. Watching your laps repetitively, it, I, I'm, I've been looking at, okay, what speed is he in in this turn? Mm. The main thing is watching the track just to get a feel. Like when I did that one, I kind of knew most of the areas. It felt like you did. It's still a it question like of, okay, I, I think I know where I'm going, but mm. is this speed I'm at too much? Right. You know, that's where I was kind of wondering, hey, let me know if I'm being too aggressive too because I don't know right. any better. But, yeah, that was the Good biggest road. thing was learning what the car can hold. And I know just from driving and being stupid on roads like this and whatnot, I've only had one oh shit moment with that zigzaggy road out past Burn Castle uh, when I had five people in the car and I was coming in hot and she actually just... Plowed. Yeah, she plowed on me for about 20 feet. Luckily, I had room. That's the only time I've ever done anything stupid like that. But I pushed it to where, okay, I know if I go a little bit more throttle, that ass is going to let loose. Just back. Yep. But, uh, so when I was out there today, I kind of knew, A, where my limit was with the car, and B, what the car would do if I went just past it. So I could, I was able to get her back pretty, okay. pretty fine. There was one time that she got a little squirrely on me, but as soon as I lifted and she sat right back down. But the biggest thing with you was learning. <laughs> Who's that? It's Walker Taylor. Uh, <laughs> I just looked at the rear like, oh shit, he caught up. <laughs> the biggest thing was uh, trying to give it the right throttle and the right brake. There were some times when I got over yeah. oversaturated with data and it was a little bit too much brake, a little bit too much gas, whatever. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Toss the <trail. laughs> Try to have some milk, milk uh, bones in here, man. <laughs> good boy. Run it down. Where's your good boy? Put a big tennis ball hanging from here. Oh, man. I love the way this car just wakes up. This is, it's calm. Yeah. You can't hear it. It's just an everyday you know, driver it's, right it's now. It's a sedan, you know? No, it's not just a sedan. Then all of a sudden you poke the other 450 <laughs> ponies underneath there. Yeah. <laughs> Downshift will help you. That's the V6 one, huh? Yeah. Okay. Because that was that looks like a little bit newer. That's the last one before they went to the. Okay. So it's got a nice one. That's actually. Here. Face 
Oh! I think that was late from the sun. Reflection, yeah. <laughs> you had a frowning face, but you were dropping to 60 quick, so depending on how far away. Yeah, I just remembered that fucking speed camera. I'm looking dead at it too. I didn't see it. Yeah, I saw it coming this way. But and that's why I was remembering it. I, I, we just been cruising and talking. I haven't even thought about it. I was like, oh wait. When we get on the one, there's a speed camera right there in the damn uh, slow zone, restricted zone. 150 horsepower, 90 mile an hour. It's amazing. Isn't it? It's so hard to get it to use more than six. I think the, I've never seen it hit 700. I think the most I've ever seen it was like 660. Well, that's okay. See, that's why I won't be speeding now. People will be doing that. Every yeah. day. They just can't wait a little bit. Like, they had time. He was behind that car when we showed up. What they wouldn't take is if we beat them at the Nurburgring. Yeah, that, yeah. that would kill that, their pride. That would make people cry. That would kill their pride. Have this big motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> or keep up. I'm sure there's people on the people that watch my video and they're like, God, he, uh, the Porsche drivers that are watching that video and you passed up like four Porsches and that's they're like probably pissed. Like, yeah. ah! What are you assholes doing? Why are Who's you like? Schnell, schnell, dumb cough. <laughs> There was a guy when the Hellcats first came out, he was so pissed that there were people posting videos of Hellcats losing drag races to cars that have no business losing drag races to, that he, he made a video. <laughs> He's like, all right, all you assholes that are making everybody else look bad, here are 10 things that you need to remember. It's like, one, black fob, never fucking use it. <laughs> Put it away. Don't race some asshole in eco mode and get your ass handed to him. And he's like, number two, never race anything electric. <laughs> You're not gonna win. Leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, no shit. And he's just going on and on <laughs> about launch control and how to do it. Don't stop making us look bad. <laughs> it was hilarious. So I'm sure that'd be like the Porsche version for the Nurburgring. 